action. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Riley. Thanks for being here. If you don't know already, I am a freshman at the University of Florida. Technically, I'm a sophomore now, but that's besides the point. But I feel like this video might be interesting to you if you are looking to go to the University of Florida or if you're planning on moving in in the fall. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some things that I picked up during my year and sharing with you some things that I wish I knew before attending University of Florida. So without further ado, here are 10 things I wish I knew before attending UF. Getting out of high school and going into college, I kind of thought that everything would just fall in line, like everything would just happen automatically. But what I didn't know is college is what you make of it. This really can be a blessing and a curse. You get to decide who you want to be. You get to decide what you want to do in your college career. You have the opportunity to become a social butterfly and you also have the opportunity to kind of stay low. What I've learned during my time here is college really is a time to find out who you are, find out your real hobbies, find out what niche of people you connect with. It's a big learning experience and it's not going to fall right into place right away. So just keep that in mind. And that will go along with the second thing that I wish I knew. The second thing I wish I knew before attending UF is I wish people stress the importance of getting involved a lot more. I think I've mentioned getting involved is super important in one of my other videos, but I'm gonna stress it again because I feel like people don't say it enough. Events and different people aren't going to come up to you. You have to get involved and go up to them. You kind of have to step out of your comfort zone and put yourself out there to be involved with your school. There's so many different clubs, sororities, fraternities, sports, just so many different opportunities to get involved with here at the University of Florida. You could totally do your own research and find different activities or clubs that value your same ideas and kind of find your niche where you think you might belong. Obviously, it might not always work out 100%, but you do have to put yourself out there. In my opinion, I think fraternities and sororities are one of the best ways to get involved on campus. You'll have so many different events and so many different people just right at your fingertips so easily accessible to you. I didn't join a sorority in the fall of last year because everything was virtual and I feel like I wouldn't have gotten the full experience and and I kind of wanted to feel out how the schooling would be and the workload kind of would be to see if I could actually handle it. But I do think in the fall I will be rushing. So that's very exciting. I'll also be making a lot of videos about that too. So stay tuned. Anyways, if you don't think that a sorority or fraternity is quite your style, you could totally try it. I personally don't know if it's something that I would fit in well with, but I am just going to try it out. I don't want to miss out. You definitely don't want to miss out on any opportunities. So that's kind of my reasoning behind it but if you really don't think it's for you and you did try it out and you don't like it there's totally other things to do on campus there's so many different clubs i'm personally in the happy club which is a health and wellness club and then i'm also in the food science and human nutrition club so we just meet talk about food science talk about nutrition share different recipes it's really fun i really enjoyed it the third thing that i wish i knew before attending uf is continue to pursue your hobbies while in college so if you had different hobbies in high school, like painting or running or cooking, I would definitely suggest to continue to pursue those hobbies while in college. And this is why. If you're going into college with the mindset just to do schoolwork, you're going to get burnt out. So if you don't have any hobbies already, definitely try out a new hobby. Some examples could be exercising, cooking, journaling, starting a YouTube channel, any sports. There's actually a lot of club sports here on campus. So if you're not playing a sport at the University of Florida, there's also a club sport option for you if you still want to pursue your sport. Also, the rec center here has a great swimming pool to do laps in. There's also a gym and a track for running. There you go. The next thing that I wish I knew before attending UF is to start studying for exams like two weeks in advance. So high school kind of didn't set me up greatly for college studying and that's okay but this year for me has just been figuring out how to study and figuring out what works for me but I definitely would suggest starting to study for your exams like two weeks in advance this will definitely help to encourage you not to cram your work at the last minute it will reduce your stress and you'll have a better chance of getting a higher grade on the exam the fifth thing I knew before attending UF is don't buy your textbooks from the bookstore there's so many different other places to get textbooks that are gonna have a lot cheaper options. 
First, I would check rate my professor. It'll say, is attendance mandatory? They'll answer yes or no. How the grading scale is and if the textbook is actually required for the course. Because the teacher might say on the syllabus that you need the textbook, but if the majority of people on rate my professor are saying they didn't even touch their textbook, I personally wouldn't buy the textbook because that's just like money that you don't need to spend. But if most people are saying they use the textbook or the textbook was mandatory for this class, then check out Amazon. Amazon typically has cheaper options and just try to weigh out all your options and find the cheapest one. And if you do get it from the bookstore, definitely try to rent a used book. That'll be cheaper as well. So the sixth thing I wish I knew before attending UF is to use Rate My Professor. <laughs> I'll have the website linked in the description so you guys can check it out. But when you're creating your schedule and you have a choice between two different professors, you could kind of look up the website and see which professor has a better reputation. But yeah, I basically explained a little about that. You'll just see how the professor teaches, how the grading skill is, is attendance mandatory, is the book mandatory, just all, all good stuff like that. The seventh thing that I wish I knew is Midtown is pretty dangerous. I'm not saying don't go to Midtown, but this year, a lot of people have died on university right across Midtown. So Midtown is a street right across campus full of different bars and restaurants. That's where a lot of students go to party and have a good time, stuff like that. But the sidewalk where people come out of these bars is right on a road, right on a busy road. So if you're stumbling, if you're a little intoxicated and you're stumbling, someone could easily fall right into the road. I really don't like that idea so just be careful definitely keep an eye out for your friends and other people be aware make sure at least one person is not intoxicated in your group have a little mom friend to take care of everyone and kind of switch out the role whenever you guys go out just be careful another thing i wish i knew before attending uf is get some sort of self-protection like pepper spray or mace or a taser, but I would definitely invest in something. They're about $12 on Amazon. You can find any of that stuff on Amazon. There's also this app called Noonlight that my mom made me download. But basically what it is, is when you feel unsafe, you can open the app, hold down the button that is right on the screen, hold it down until you feel safe. Once you feel safe, you can let go of the button. You'll get about 30 seconds to put in your required passcode. Once you put in the passcode, it'll just say, glad you're safe, Riley. But if you don't, put in the passcode within 30 seconds i believe it'll call 911 and it'll also call your emergency contact that you put into the app so i would definitely suggest one of those options stay safe out there ladies and gentlemen the ninth thing i wish i knew is gainesville is kind of low-key boring <laughs> There's not that much to do here. Maybe that's just because I had a boring year because the pandemic, but there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of bars, there's downtown area, which is really cute. There's the Springs, which is about 35, 40 minutes away in other campus activities. But other than that, it's kind of boring. That being said, just kind of put yourself out there, make some friends and have fun. The 10th thing that I wish I knew before attending you up is classes here are hard. If you got in, you're smart. Somehow, somehow, some way, I got in and these classes for me are a little tough. Anyone you talk to here about science classes are gonna all say, oh my gosh, you're taking chemistry? Yeah, good luck. And that's really because the pre-med courses here are super competitive. So they put you in chemistry one your first year to try and weed out the weak ones. And typically the weak ones will switch to a business major or switch to some other non-pre-med major, but the strong ones will accept the challenge. Not gonna lie, I'm a dietetics major and I thought about switching in the middle of the semester because my classes were just hard and I still have to take a lot more chemistry classes to graduate. I was gonna switch because of chemistry, but I will not let them get the best of me. I'm not a quitter and I actually have a bonus thing that I wish I knew. This video was technically only gonna be 10 things that I wish I knew, but here's 11. Take advantage of study edge or some kind of tutoring. They do offer free tutoring at the Broward Teaching Center, so you could totally take advantage of that or try out Study Edge. I use that for my chemistry class and I feel like it really did help me on my exams. The tutors at Study Edge have all taken the classes at UF and they know the professors, they know how the class works, and they teach you information based on the material that you're gonna be tested on on your exam. They don't teach you from the book because the book contains a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily need to know. It's just like a 
bunch of extra information. So Study Edge kind of just gets right to the point. They provide lots of practice problems and different help classes. It was really helpful for me. I got to be in chemistry this semester because of Study Edge. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll give you another bonus one, but you might have already known this. I kind of already knew this as well, so that's why I didn't really want to include it in this video, but there's not really parking at UF. So if you do drive a car and you want to bring your car to campus and you're looking to drive to your classes, you're going to need a parking permit. They have different ones for sale. There's like different colors that mean different things. I don't know too much information about all of that, but just know that there's not going to be a lot of parking on campus. So good luck with that. Or you could get a scooter. There's also the bus. I've taken the bus. I actually have a vlog on that. That was very interesting. I live in off-campus housing, so going to class, I'll probably either have to take the bus or get a parking permit because I don't have a scooter. And riding a bike is kind of far from where I live. So yeah, just know that there's not necessarily a lot of parking on campus. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I really was trying to brainstorm to figure out some things that I wish I knew before attending UF. I hope it cleared some things up for you. I'm gonna be posting a lot of college content especially once we get back to school in the fall i will be having all classes in person which is really exciting and i will be involved in a sorority so if you're interested in that kind of content i would definitely suggest clicking that red subscribe button right down there it really mean a lot to me you can follow me along on instagram as well my username is in the description or it's just at riley andrews but thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and after you do that, I will see you in my next video. Peace.